This week on Hank Parker's Flesh and Blood. Look, there's catfish. Miss you, catfish. Now I get to go hang out with some heroes. Man, I'm Hank Jr. Nice to meet you, man. Got a spirit and an attitude of a winner. We got after him, started rattling, and sure enough, he responded. Some hunters are made, and some are born. Born into a legacy, passed down, not through fire and lead, not through stock and steel, but flesh and blood. This is my absolute favorite time of year. The leaves are all changing up here in Ohio. It's a little early, but it's a good time for rattling. Hopefully we can get on a big buck. We're gonna be hunting with some wounded warriors. I am pumped up. Fall is in the air. Got some cold weather, the first cold weather, so I'm ready to go. Look, there's catfish. <laughs> we miss you, catfish. Well, I roll into town, gonna grab my license and get up in a tree for a few days before I hunt with the Wounded Warrior guys. Well, while I grab my license, I meet the owner of the store and he's gotta show me a few trail camera photos. You gotta love Ohio. Yeah. I tell you what I'll do. You just give me $10. <laughs> I'll go kill him before you, because he needs to die. I'm sure he's eating up all your beans. Well, I met a couple of kids, and they were really wanting to meet catfish, but they had to settle for me. Well, I drive over to meet up with some of my old friends, the Maynards. Hi, brother, how are you? How are you? You didn't have to get all dressed up, but your suspenders don't pull me nothing. Oh, good. How are you doing? Good. This guy's been following us. Yeah, I have. Hey, yeah. How are you doing? How you been? Yeah, come on in. You like that? You like that? Well, I don't know that you can have those. like I got to catch up with my friends. Now it's time to go hang some stands. This is a real good looking spot. CRP, my favorite. Acorn trees right here, white oaks, red oaks. It's just one of those deals, man. We just hope we catch them traveling, passing through. Good looking spot. We're in Ohio, it's the first morning. Last week of October, great time. Man, I am hunting some beautiful property. This is a good looking spot. Well, 
only had a couple of days to hunt and it's just that time of year. All I saw was that small buck. Now I get to go hang out with some heroes. Follow Hank Parker's Flesh and Blood crew on Facebook and Twitter. You want to supercharge your corn, grain, or protein pellet? Try new Khmer Deer Corn Coat. Whatever you treat, the deer will eat. And Corn Coat is so simple to mix, you just pour it in and shake it up. We have had some absolutely amazing results by using Khmer Deer Corn Coat. You've got to try it. Khmer Deer. The performance of today's top broadheads were recently tested, shooting at extreme angles through half-inch plywood. Broadhead test number one. Fail. Broadhead number two. Fail. Broadhead number three. The Swacker blows through the plywood. See how the Swacker performed in all the tests at Swacker.com. For more than a quarter century, Mossy Oak has led the market with the most effective camouflage patterns ever designed. The launch of Breakup Infinity took that leadership to an entirely new level. Six layers of depth, true to life detail, and unmatched definition make Breakup Infinity the most innovative and effective pattern we've ever produced. Mossy Oak Breakup Infinity, depth, detail, definition. Well, it's been a bust so far for the hunt, but man, it's been hot, we haven't seen any deer. It's supposed to cool off. Driving down the road a little bit here to uh, Adams County. Gonna be meeting up with Ronnie Gullion and a couple of guys from the Wounded Warrior Project. So hopefully we'll, we'll get some deer to start moving and have a good time with these guys. I'm looking forward to it. Hunting with veterans means a great deal to us. It's a way for us to connect and just show a little bit of our appreciation for what they've done. How you doing, man? Brother. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, I'm glad How you guys are doing. Well, I rolled into camp and got to meet the guys. We've got two Bryans in camp, so this should be fun. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? What's up, man? It's good to see you. How you doing, man? Good to see you again. What's new? Not much. Yeah? 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 yeah. I'm ready to watch it happen. How's that? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. ready to go. Hank Jr. is with my buddy Brian Price. I got the turkey hunt with him a couple of years ago. Well, we've hunted with Brian Price in the past. He's hunted and fished with my dad, so he's an old friend, but now we got a new Brian. Brian's in the wheelchair, and so is Brian. All right. Brian, what's up, man? I'm Hank Jr. Nice to meet you, man. How you doing? Not too bad. Good to see you. Ready to see you smoke a big deer. I'm hoping so. All right. Hey, let me, let me show you how, this is how it works. We'll go on a trip, go hunt with my dad, right? And then everybody be around meeting my dad. He'll be like, oh, here's my boys, you know? Oh, you brought your sons with you? And he'll be like, all right, Hank, look, we got a trail camera here, here, and here. We got a 180 here, a 190 has been coming here, 170 over here. Now, we got, you can hunt all that if the, you know, different winds. Now your boys, they'll be hunting right. You see that little island of trees in that? <laughs> hey, we hadn't had any trail cameras there this year, but I know 14 years ago, my grandpa got a good one in there. You're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. We're having a good time in camp, but it's time to get in the woods. <laughs> Well, the first time I met Hank Parker, he told me, just when you're hunting, make sure you keep your mouth closed.
with uh, Hank Parker. I went to Warrior Hunt, hoping to get a really big deer this morning. This is day one. The weather's nice. Leaves are falling. It's great out here. Well, old Brian saw a buck, but he was just a bit too far for the crossbow. When Wayne comes to pick Brian up about lunchtime, and wouldn't you know, he's going to give him a hard time about not taking a shot. <laughs> What's the deal? Well, I mean, uh, we, we got, you got, if you don't meet your standards, you know what you got to do? <laughs> you lower your standards. That's the point of the nose, like five yards. Uh, right there. And the six stood out front here for a while, about 40 yards. So you've had an opportunity. Yeah. Okay, you got that on video, right? <laughs> okay, okay. When we go to the judge, <laughs> you can just prepare that. So, so. We'll, we'll, take, we'll take that up for the matter, too. <laughs> Welcome back to Flesh and Blood. Well, our buddy Brian Schieffer has found him a hot spot, and he's going to stick with it. Not one, but he saw two good bucks. Man, these guys hunted so hard, and I wanted more than anything in the world for them to get a good buck. It just didn't happen. So now it's on to Texas with Dad. So we got soldiers in Ohio, we got soldiers in Texas, good times ahead. Hey, you know, it's always neat when we get to hunt with our soldiers, and this is a really special trip for me to make to Texas. Dad's out in Texas, and he's got Roger Raglan in camp. We've heard of Wounded Warriors. We've heard of all these different organizations. This is an organization out of Texas, uh, the Patriot Warrior Foundation, and it's soldiers heading this whole thing up. The, the administrative uh, group are all soldiers. This is really a great organization. I love Texas. You know, the first place I started hunting, I mean, it is just awesome. I love Texas.
uh, I was deployed to Afghanistan in uh, 2010-2011. I was uh, on a dismounted uh, clearing out, and uh, on my way to uh, help clear an IED, I stepped on a uh, IED, causing me to uh, lose both legs and uh, the elbow and my left arm, along with uh, half my shoulder muscle. My, and my tricep. About nine months since the accident. Been hunting for about three months now. I hate you had to go through what you went through, but I sure appreciate it. And I love your attitude, man. You got yeah. a spirit, you're a fighter. It's been nine months. It happened in February when he got blown to pieces. He's gone through surgery, he's gone through rehab, and here we are nine months later. He's in the field deer hunting, but he's got a spirit and an attitude of a winner. And I'm telling you what, you're, you're an inspiration. I mean, here you are nine months later, man, and you're smiling and happy and going after it. And that's awesome. Welcome back to Flesh and Blood. All three of these guys got a great deer, and I can tell you Flesh and Blood is just happy to be a part of it. And just being in Texas alone is a lot of fun. On top of that, they're killing deer. You know, at the end of the day, it's all about these guys, these warriors that have been in adverse situations that we don't even know what all they go through. You know, I sit and listen at some of the stories they tell at night, and it, it just makes you really appreciative for all the sacrifice that they do. So it's all about them having a good time, just letting go and not focusing on anything adverse, just focusing on good things. Is the coffee pot going in there? Good day. Good day. You know, this hunt was not about me. It was about our soldiers and our patriots, and they were coming in. And Steve Clark, the owner of the ranch, he insisted that I go hunting. Uh, he said, man, we got a section of the ranch nobody's going to go to. I want you to go down there and hunt. And I said, well, you know, I'll get with Keith, and we'll take some rattling horns, and we'll go after them. Saw a really good deer crossing a field. We got after him, started rattling. He was with a doe, and sure enough, he responded. Ooh. 
There is no ground shrinkage, my friend. Wow. I could not be more proud of this deer right here. I could not be more proud. And it was so intense, I can't believe we pulled it off and we got. I was I was starting to worry about it there a couple times because he got off in that brush on us. It was like he was gone. Yes, Look at that right here where he broke. One was going this way and one was going this way. Could you imagine what that would be like? Well, they're, they're, starting to, they're starting to fight pretty heavy now. They just can't get along. No, sir. They just can't yes. do it. Imagine that. Dad goes out to get in on the action and he shoots a giant buck. Imagine that, huh? Well, fantastic. All right, hey, I want to give a shout out to all the landowners that provide hunts for our patriots and our warriors and all of our service people. I appreciate what you do and I appreciate anybody that has deep respect and appreciation for our soldiers. And so I just want to say salute to all you guys. Thanks so much.